Hey everybody, welcome back to some more early morning barking, talking about BPD and MPD by somebody that has both. So, one thing that's coming a lot for me in live shows, which you should look out for by the way, I do them all the time. Get on Twitter, follow me at barking and you'll see when uh, things come up. Uh, something I asked a lot is about what do I do when I'm hitting rock bottom when things are going wrong what are some coping skills what are some things I can do to look after myself and so I want to make a video where I can sort of point people to and talk about some common coping skills so here are my top five BPD MPD cluster B coping skills number one mindfulness uh, this is all about being centered in the moment uh, accepting reality as it is and taking the time to not worry about what might be or future things and deal with what's happening right now. It's about grounding yourself and being centered and calm. And there are, gosh, there are lots of, if you want calmness and uh, mindfulness exercises, look that up on YouTube. There'll be a lot of things. But I tend to, as I've said before, sort of come and sit in my car and ground myself with a hot cup of coffee. And it becomes about just noticing things like how the coffee tastes and taking time to appreciate what the cup feels like in my hands and whether it's hot or warm or whether I can smell it from where I am. I, it sounds kind of silly sometimes, but it's all just about not panicking with stuff and saying, here I am here's what's happening right now mindfulness it's it's a good one number two uh showing you number two uh is emotional regulation when these emotional when these emotionals when we get all emotionful and we need to regulate this because we you know we're very i know it's very much a bpd thing but also i think a lot of you know cluster b uh traits revolve around some panic and extremes of emotion um what we have to do is something to regulate this we need a coping mechanism for that and so here you know i love going out for a walk going out for a walk for me is great it burns off energy i'm on my own so i'm not gonna i'm not pressured to interact with people in a way i don't want to or anything like that i can just get on with stuff uh, and walk out this emotion that I'm feeling and you might have other things you know uh, look for something healthy generally exercise is a good one but you know also uh, I don't know well really you, you know what works for you you don't need my suggestions number three is friends or a support network at least somebody you can just be around now I, I try to preach as much as I can that friends aren't therapy if you need therapy, that's what therapists are for. Friends are there for support sometimes. And it's good to have people in your life that you can just sort of be around so that you're not on your own. You don't need them to do much. You don't, you know, maybe minimal interaction is required. But if you've got a friend that you can just hang out with and watch a, a movie with or something like that, then having that support network is good and you know what sometimes we all just need a hug number four self-care big proponent of self-care it's the first thing to go when i'm not doing well i talk about this a lot and in fact part two of my living with bpd course which you can get right now uh link at earlymorningbarking.com and in the description below is 50 minutes of the importance of self-care and how to do it being clean being fed having enough sleep sitting in a house not surrounded by your own filth and garbage all that stuff it's really important and you're not going to come out of this bottom slump until you start doing that for me that is always the first step out of my low feeling and finally number five self-compassion which is very closely related to self-care these two live adjacent to each other and self-compassion is that you know what you've not had a great day let's not worry about all the things that you didn't get done today or the fact that you didn't solve all your life's problems today 
or maybe you know you just slept a bit too much and just ate cheese we know this wasn't the ideal day that was desired but okay let's chill out because tomorrow is going to be better and if it's not okay the day after might be that self-compassion that ability to forgive yourself for not doing everything you wanted to do today it's a very important skill to have and it takes time to learn i'm still learning it and it, it still comes with a lot of guilt and shame sometimes you know but it's important because i'm my biggest best supporter right no one believes in me like i do i'm stuck with me i have to believe and so that self-compassion to let myself do as well as i can is an important thing to be able to do i hope that helps i hope that helps a lot i hope if i sent you to this video that it really helped because that saved me some time later and if you know somebody that's going through some stuff feel free to send this on to them uh, as I said, links to everything in the description below, including my Patreon, where you can get that Living With BPD course. Uh, go and check everything out there. I'll see you on TikTok and Twitter and all those other places. You take care. I'll see you later. Bye.